Hey, hello, my friends. Hope everybody is well today. Uh, I'm going to show you a few things I sold from a few weeks back, and I've been kind of crazy here, not posting videos. Sorry, life has just gotten in the way here the past couple weeks. But hopefully I'm back now again. <laughs> These are going to be from November 4th to about November 14th. Just a few items, not, not many. Um, sales were okay during that time. Uh, they weren't great, but in the end, I wasn't listing a whole lot, and I wasn't really active. Just had a few things going on. Everything's cool, just uh, some life tip on getting in the way there. But um, I'm Paul Apollonia. Been selling on eBay for, gosh, like 20 plus years. Took it seriously probably about 16 years ago. Uh, started doing consignment for a friend of mine. I had a bunch of stuff and uh, it just took off from there. Um, I still do a lot of consignment. I love consignment. Consignment is not for everyone. Got to kind of be like a therapist sometimes. You're going into situations where somebody lost a loved one. Somebody's downsizing. They're having, you know, emotional issues, getting rid of the house, getting rid of items. Um, I like it. Um, I like the, um, I like the, you know, communication with people and, and, and working with people. Uh, it's a 50-50 split to the first 100, and then it goes down from there. Uh, all fees and everything else is on the um, the consigner side. Uh, I also do a lot of training, uh, do um, a lot of uh, Zoom training and other eBay training and getting into some other platforms too. And I also run the Raleigh eBay meetup group. We meet on Zoom. We're probably going to stay on Zoom, uh, even if we go to a, um in-person uh, event, which I'm really hoping to sometime soon, but I'm getting a lot of kickback. And people just like it on Zoom. To be honest with you, I kind of like Zoom because it's kind of nice. I'm done and I'm home, but um, we'll see what happens there. Uh, so let's uh, – oh, I forgot. I got my Teachable channel up, too. I have a course out there on parting out dishwashers. Um, it, it's a step-by-step -step course. And I also show you how to uh, list the parts on eBay, look them up, list them, what they can sell for, and what parts to uh, part out. It's a pretty good course, put a lot of time into it, and uh, check that out. All those links will be down below, so let's uh, get this uh, show on the road. Hey, don't forget about my YouTube channel. scattered here sorry <laughs> love everyone you guys 718 we are growing trying to hit that magical 1000 subscriber mark uh, please subscribe to my uh, channel and please like this video appreciate you guys hanging in there with me it really really means a lot and thanks for all the messages that I got from the last video that I posted I am doing fine just um, a little craziness going on everything's cool it's just stuff's going on you hear noise in the background that's my dogs running around Okay, like I said, not many items. Uh, these are just different items I sold, uh, kind of obscure stuff. Give you a taste of what I sold. I think we've got four or five items I'm going to show you. So it's going to be a short video. I'm going to try and keep my videos kind of short uh, anymore. I was looking back at some of the videos, and I was like, wow, they're like 30 minutes long. So let's try and keep this one a little shorter for you guys. Like, what the heck is this thing he's selling? This is a washer machine uh, motor. A uh, very short story. Tell everybody and anybody you know what you do, whether you're parting out appliances, doing consignment, just selling on eBay, selling on Amazon, new, used, whatever. Make sure people know what you're doing. I get a lot of my stuff for free. Even stuff I sell on my own, people give to me because they know what I'm doing. They know I do consignment. And I know I'm looking. They know I'm looking for stuff to sell. They also call me if they have drunk to get rid of sometimes, and I'll go pick it up and pull out stuff I can sell from it. A friend of a friend of a friend of a friend of mine heard somebody was getting rid of a washer and dryer, kind of a new washer and dryer actually. It wasn't that old. I got the dryer. I made lots of money off the dryer. I forget. And then they called me up uh, two weeks later, and they said, we don't want the washer either. I thought my daughter wanted it, but she doesn't want it. So if you want to come pick that up, pick that up. This thing was heavy as all heck. Thank goodness it was in the uh, garage. I don't have to bring it from downstairs, their house or anything. Uh, sold the panel, the control panel off the top, the buttons or the push buttons 
for I think I'm just guessing at these prices because I can't remember. It's been so long ago. So it was like July or August, uh, like sixty bucks. I sold the control board for a hundred and well over a hundred dollars. It took me forever to remove this motor. This was uh, these washers that don't have a thing in the middle, the spinner thing in the middle, um, just a big drum. Um, I had to look on YouTube. I had to look on part sites. I had to look everywhere to figure out how to get this motor out. Well, I finally did. And I'll be honest with you, I probably spent about probably two hours total with research and figuring out how to get this motor uh, off. I had to use a kind of make sure special tool, um, <laughs> the, uh, the jack from my car to press out the drum from the motor. It, it was just, it was, it, it was interesting, but got it out and had it up on eBay for about a month and I sold it, sold it probably a good month well, beginning of November. So I'm assuming everything's okay. We're reaching your 30 day mark. I'm hoping everything's fine with it. <laughs> um, so it did pretty good. $159. Like I said, I got it for nothing. Uh, shipping was right at around $25, $26 went out FedEx or was it UPS? One of those. It does. I don't send big stuff like this out. Post office is too expensive. Um, I do economy shipping. Economy shipping allows me to use any of the options eBay offers, post office, FedEx, and UPS. Um, I also kind of guesstimate up my shipping. Do I refund buyers difference in shipping? No, I do not. Um, I had to pack this thing. I had to use packing material. Get a. I used a um, low home improvement, um, small heavy duty box, a dollar eighty five. I think they are. Used a lot of foam that I had match. Um, like mattress foam to, to protect it. So, you know, you spend a couple bucks to pack things. All these pictures are done on my phone. Let me do this. Um, like I said, it, 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 <laughs> this was a challenge to get out of this washer. Um, but it was all good. Took pictures of, of every part I could think of taking. Whenever there's any kind of model numbers or any kind of um, numbering on the part, I try and take that in the listing also. And like I said, all this, you can use all this information. You can, the dishwasher course I'm offering is for dishwashers, but you can apply it to any appliance, almost to anything, to be honest with you, that you're parting out. It's just the same process, just a different appliance. Um, so I put all these numbers in the listing, very important. Let's go down here real quick. It's been a while since I've showed you my listings. Mm -hmm. Item specifics are very important, and my phone is making noise for some reason. I thought I uh, muted that. Model number is important. Fill out any of these that pertain to your item. Do not fill out, like, for example, if, this, if there was sleeve length in the uh, item specifics, I would leave that blank. I would not put NA. I would not put none. I wouldn't put doesn't apply because where these come into factor at is when you're doing your searches on your left side of your screen. When you're in eBay, this is what it's pulling up from the item specific. So you only want to use stuff that pertains to your item. You can add things if you like, but really use things that pertain to your item. Very important for searching. Um, so I put all the information in there that I could figure out. Um, just tons and tons and tons of stuff there. My uh, description is very short and sweet. I mean, I, what's there to describe? It's it, it's a motor. <laughs> I mean, it run it ran last time. I I um you know it was used. I always put these disclaimers in here. Make sure the appliance fits. Uh, hey, make sure the part fits your appliance, and etc. and stuff like that. Like I said, that was a good sale. Uh, let's go on to the other, next one. You won't believe this one. Cassette tapes. People still use cassette. Yeah. Uh, keep an eye out on these. Got this for nothing. Um, little information. I saw anything and everything. Really doesn't matter what I make on the item. I got this for nothing. Uh, it took five minutes to list it. It did sit out there for a while. Long tail sale, we call that, which means it. The, the item sat out on eBay for a while. 
probably a couple months, if not longer. I can't remember. But yes, cassettes do sell. Uh, it's interesting. They're coming back into rage again, cassettes, but uh, especially reference cassettes do sell. I don't sell a whole bunch of them, but when I see them, I grab them and I list them and see what I get for them. So here we go. It's just a basic listing. Nothing. Uh, cases damaged. I was upfront and honest. I did not. Did I say I tested these? I really did not. Oh, wait. Maybe these were mine. <laughs> I can't remember. I think, yes, 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 yes. These were mine. I bought these. Great cassette series, by the way. Uh, very old. The gentleman has since passed on, but uh, really helped me out when I was going to uh, community college at night. Um, it actually helped me out with a lot of things I still do today with the study and reference information in there. I think it's on DVD now or I, mean, I don't know. I think I even sold one on VHS one time. But it was a really good course, very popular, one of the early infomercials on TV late at night that I fell victim to, but it worked out great. Uh, same thing, item specifics, pretty clear. Did I charge shipping for this? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, I normally do not do free shipping. It all depends. If all, if most of the items, when I look at solds, are free shipping, then I would do free shipping. Don't forget when you do free shipping to bump up your price. Because really, it's not free shipping. It's still coming out of the cost of the item. So remember, cassettes do sell. This was a consignment item. I'm still working with this gentleman. Uh, if you're doing consignment, if you're probably doing anything on eBay, selling anything used, connections. Again, tell everybody, get with realtors, get with organizers. Uh, this was from a organizer I met to another friend of a friend of a friend of a friend's dog or something. I don't even know. Met with her, had coffee with her one morning, and she calls me up a week later and says, I have this client. He's got a bunch of stuff, a bunch of cars and stuff, uh, die-cast cars. I've sold sold a truck. I think you'll see one other thing I sold from him, maybe two other things in this uh, video. Sold a few other things um, from him. Again, I get 50-50 split, so I get half of $64.99. Everything else comes out of his end. Every time I do consignment, I never do free shipping. I got a whole matrix with spreadsheet and stuff, and it kind of throws the, the, um, the calculations off when I do free shipping. I try not to do free shipping. If I do, then I got to figure that out. But I try not to do free shipping with consignment. Uh, much more upfront to it, the client that way. Did I make any money on shipping? A little bit, maybe a couple bucks. This went into a quite large box with lots of bubble wrap around it. The um, the muffler part came off. This is a pretty cool unit if you're into tractors. It sold pretty quick. Um, I, I marked it up pretty high. They were going for about $49, but this is in really, really good shape. All photos are done on my phone. A Samsung uh, S10 Plus. Looking at the Google Pixel 6 might move to that since I'm Chromebook and that's a Google machine too. But uh, so that went out, went out good with uh, specifics. Pretty simple, pretty, pretty pretty basic, nothing real fancy there. Didn't do anything to, you know, anything crazy. The seat lifts up. I did not show the seat lifted up. Did I take the hood off of the, um, the hood actually comes off too. I don't even think I did that to be honest with you. Uh, nope. I did not, but it, uh, it did sell, it sold, sold pretty quick, sold within a week, which I was happy for. He was happy too. This guy's great. Um, we get in contact every couple of weeks. He asked me how's everything's going. Everything's going good. Selling stuff, not selling stuff. And I said, well, I want to get you some money. And he's like, well, we'll get to that eventually. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> this is another item I sold that was his. He was almost going to give this to a thrift store. And I went, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know. I don't know if you're seeing this thing down here. I don't know why this is showing up all of a sudden. I'm using Screencastify. I don't know if that's something new they're showing up. i got to figure out how to get rid of that. Um, I went, wait, 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 wait. It's a Tiffany and Company mug. It's got to be worth something. So I just took it with a box of other stuff he had, not thinking it was worth this much for a mug. I did sell it. The buyer immediately messaged me when, when they bought it, saying, please make sure you pack it correctly, which I always do anyway. Um, 
lots of bubble wrap. I put I put it in one of those eight by eight post office boxes, eight by eight by eight or whatever it's eight by eight by seven, and uh, went out priority. They were thrilled with it. Haven't left me feedback yet, but they so hope they were thrilled with it. I haven't heard anything back. Um, again, could have taken better pictures. The background's kind of dark, but it's fine. Always remember trying to do all. Uh, at least your first picture with a white background. Everything else after that can be on whatever background you want. But Google loves pictures on white backgrounds. Remember, eBay uploads all their fo- photos Excuse me, to Google every day or every night. I can't remember. Google Shopping. So remember that. That's, that's very important. First picture has got to be with a white background. I should do all in white background. And my white background is pretty basic. Sometimes I use... A piece of paper. Sometimes I use a project board from Dollar Tree. Um, especially, I'm, I'm, I'm listing a ton of these little figurines that I got from another consignment person probably about a year and a half ago. Um, side note, Harmony Kingdom, I we looked at them and they were kind of tanking on eBay. They were like not worth hardly anything. And I was like, well, let me see what I can do. And I looked them up uh, last week and I was like, wow, they're selling again. So I'm in the process of probably listing 50 of these things individually. Fun, fun. Uh, back to the mug. No chips, no nothing. I made sure I stated that. Take a picture of the handle so people can see there's no cracks or chips in the handle. A lot of times the handle is cracked and you don't realize it. So there's no cracks there. Um, like I said, I got one offer for 35 I was going to take that, but I let it sit out there for a while and I let it. I came back with like 20% below $58.99. They declined it, and I, this person bought it full price, which was great. Two more items left here. Uh, a dryer that I got for free on the side of the road. Driving to meet somebody for breakfast and saw a dryer. Er, pulled over, grabbed it. This was kind of a dud of a dryer, to be honest with you. Um, took the electrical motor out, took this piece out. Uh, Took something else out. I can't remember. I didn't part out too much out of this dryer. I thought it was going to be worth a little bit of money, but it was not. Sold the motor for $30, I think, and sold this for $19. Spent probably about 45 minutes parting it out. Something else I sold off of it, too, but it it, it, it was not the, uh, the home run like some of the appliances are that I get. This went international shipping. This went... Uh, I use a GSP global shipping program through eBay, which basically is pretty cool. You um, just have to ship it when you select it in your listings. Um, You just ship it to Kentucky. And once eBay gets it, you get a email. Yes. I always tell people always communicate through eBay messaging. They send you an email and you, um, they, they say, Hey, we got it. We're looking at it. Most of the time they do open up your item to make sure it's in there and it's packed properly. And then you'll get another, uh, I think you get another email when they send it out. And then you get another email when it is delivered to the destination. Uh, Many people do not like global shipping program. They believe that uh, people are charged extra taxes, whatever. I don't know. It works for me. I kind of like it. I've done international shipping years and years and years ago and it was a pain in the neck. I hear it's a lot easier. I keep on meaning to try it on my own and I just keep on forgetting to be honest with you this is just so darn easy and you do get international sales using it so i'm happy there oh last item almost hit the wrong button there i think i've showed these before dollar tree calendars now these were selling like gangbusters last year at this time not so much now i think the competition is out there i've got probably about 35 of these that i bought different colors and patterns don't make a whole lot of money off of these. I pay a dollar oh seven with tax. Well, now it's going to be a dollar twenty five because they've raised their rates to a dollar twenty five at Dollar Tree. Um, not a whole lot of money. Probably made about three or four bucks off of this, which I am totally fine with. Um, I'm in there anyway. I just grab a bunch. I'm buying other things. It it's fine for me. I know a lot of people think that's ridiculous, but hey, to me, a sale's a sale. I list them real quick, and I just put them in a little uh, plastic envelope, and they're out the door. 
don't spend a whole lot of time creating this listing. A few minutes, and I got a whole bunch of them out there. And that was the last one, one left. Seems like these blue ones are selling, and none of the other ones are selling. I need to revamp the listing or do something because I want to get rid of these. Um, one year, several, several years ago, I sold these on Amazon. Made a freaking killing on selling calendars on Amazon before the competition came in. Hundreds and hundreds of dollars in December I made off of selling Dollar Tree calendars. <laughs> so sometimes you make a lot of money, sometimes you don't. I got to figure this stuff out. Well, that is about it for this video. Hopefully that was a lot shorter than my other videos for you guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. I got some more other, I got some more other, that doesn't make any sense. I have some other videos I'm going to create real quick for you guys and get those up too and get me all caught up. And hopefully then we will be at least on a once a week schedule again, if not more. I really want to get more videos up, not just once a week for you guys. And remember, check out all the comments below for my, my links, my teachable links, the meetup link and other stuff I got for you. Maybe uh, things I've used and stuff. There may be affiliate links down there. I don't make much on affiliate links, just a couple of pennies, probably not much at all, but check out all that stuff. And thank you so much for watching. And thanks a lot for hanging in there with me. I appreciate it. You guys have a good day. Stay warm. It is a little chilly here in Raleigh, 32 degrees. It's going to be a cold one today. It's a high of 50 degrees. Okay, my friends, have a great day. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Steve with Rake and Craft and I'm here with Paul and I just want to shoot a quick testimonial for him because he's been one of my good friends for over what, four or five years yeah. now? Yeah. And if you're looking to learn about selling on eBay and you want to start a side hustle or you just want to make some money flipping stuff on eBay, you're in great hands. Paul's been doing this for a long time. He's helped a ton of people and I put my full faith and trust in him. So Paul, I appreciate you. You bet. Thank you so much. You got it.